G'day Australia, it's Jace here. Now behind us is the Jackson Forward Fold from MDC and we're gonna do a little bit of review on it. And beside me is Simon. Say g'day mate. There you go, I know all about it because I have uh, made it very dirty. So there you go, hey. Simon's been hanging out in this camper trailer for the last four weeks, putting it through its paces. So we're gonna get a bit of a bird's eye view of how it went with Simon in it. How good was it? Let's go and have a look mate. So inside so and outside. So this side is the, the business side, the kitchen side. And it is practical, but very nice. Now, as you can see, we've dragged that around everywhere. Not a speck of dust in there, not one. Oh, that is true. Red here. Yep. <laughs> clean clean look, at the state, look at the state of my fridge, brand new. That's a 95 litre Waco. Yep. Twin door, so dual zone. And Mate, it, it literally has room to, oh, you can, there's actually space. You can stack stuff around it. <laughs> Heaps of power to run it all the time. The, the camper's got great power. All right, I'll slide that back in. So that's a really good slide, that one. So I know it's easy. got two locking systems. That's easy. Yeah. Boom. Yep, sweet. Happy okay, days. so that's where the fridge slides So sits. there's your fridge. What's beside that there, mate? In there, we've got plenty of storage for dry food. As you can see, we've stored, someone stored a shell in there. Yeah. <laughs> a bit random. <laughs> Good space for storage. Nice drawer, same thing. All, everything's clean inside, just we've been oh, keeping yeah, our gas. Keep the gas. There you go. Close that up. Alright, so that's some good storage there. I see you've got some 12 volt outlets here. So if you want lighting and stuff like that. You can like run that. those little strip LED yeah, lights. When, the, when yep. the awning goes in. Where's the kitchen, mate? Show us this kitchen. So this, this is the bomb, really. So you can there see the is. kitchen's out of workout. And being blokes, it's not overly clean at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your water and your, you know, your grey water pokes out the bottom. You got your gas line and your water line in there. That just plugs straight in the back. You put all your plates and stuff in there. That's, that's plates and stuff in there for six of us, believe it or not. Fits and all our cutlery as well. You got gas. You got your cutlery. There's even this little thing at the back here, mate. You know, See this? What more do you need? Another little bench in there. Look at that. How good is that? The other thing too is it doesn't need a support leg. No. It's supporting its own weight. Yeah. Well, look how quick we just pulled that out. Like, done. No, that's pretty cool. What else we got around the other side? Truck loads of storage around the other side. Double locking. Double locking so it doesn't go anywhere. As you can see, we've got a lot going on here. We've got a whole tinny and outboard set up on our camper trailer. Yes, no, a few modifications done here. So we've got the uh, the 20 horsepower on the back there, which uh, it seems to fit quite well. You take one of the spares off. Yep, perfect. Get rid of the second spare. And of course it makes a perfect mount with a few modifications from All For Adventures Workshop. You get, a, you get a 20 horsepower Mercury on the back. And mind you, that's a very, very light motor. So it is easy to get it up there. It's a one man job. Yep. Perfect. So this, this little tailgate swings out and then you access the back. What's around the other side, mate? The storage around here, the technical stuff around this side. Yes, all right, now this is the brains of the operation, mate. <laughs> it's this like is definitely not where Simon lives. No, it's okay. over, over my head in here. <laughs> <laughs> now this particular camper trailer is running two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. Now that can be changed to whatever option you want, but for this straight out of the showroom floor, 200 amp hour deep cycle batteries. You can see we've got 12.8 volts of power. Um, you'll notice here that we've got a master switch uh, we've got a water tank gauge, and of course these are all the switching and um, and of course fusing for all the you know water pump uh, refrigerator, <laughs> as it says. That's really yeah. cool. Uh, DC outlet for all your outlets, and of course there's even another outlet here. So it, I know, is, it is wired up nice and basic that you can actually work on it and see where the stuff is. And if you want to add more batteries, that's easy. The batteries are just inside. Yeah. Yeah. And of course to charge it, it'll have a 15 amp charger which you put um, mains well. power to. And also you run an Anderson plug at the front and that connects to your vehicle and that'll charge as you're driving along. So you'll see here that's the main circuit breaker for the whole system. So if there's any little problems, that'll trip and then it'll come back on. So it's not as though you've got to get in there and find out where the uh, fuses are. What else we got? So we've got truckloads of storage in here. As you can see, it's brand new clean in there, other than the um, outboard, outboard tank, tank that we've been jamming in there. But and heaps this, of storage. And this one goes right through, goes right this through. is where you put yep. your poles. Goes right through the other side. Perfect. And then That's there's good. another large st uh, storage compartment here as well. This thing's got space everywhere. Oh, well, and we haven't even filled it up. Look, it's empty. You could 100% run your little freezer fridge yeah. in there. Yep. Or a small generator would work in there. Yep. Yeah, you could chuck a little generator in. Absolutely. Storage to burn, mate. Heaps of storage, buddy. Now around the front, what have we got? Around the front here, mate, we've got it all going on. 
There's a nine kilo gas bottle, you can have two, but uh, we only run one because that's gonna last yeah. forever. We oh, normally chuck a bucket in there and put our rubbish in our bucket. Yeah. A couple of jerry can holders. Yeah, perfect. Good old stone deflector, mate. Stops everything getting trash from our uh, big mud tires. Uh, you gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the stone deflector. I notice there's a bit going on at the front here. And the front is set up really well. We've got the swing away jockey wheel rather than the one you, you have to take out. Yeah, yeah, no, that's always good. And the hitch, mate, it's high tech. It's yes. The new, it's the new DA35 from Cruise Master. Yep. And it does all the, all the gizmos, easy to hook on, spark, it articulates everywhere, super tough. But what can I say? Well, that's an upgrade, so we go with the upgrade for sure. Now, the beauty of this thing as well, it's got full independent suspension. Yep. Dual shock absorbers, 12 inch magnetic brakes, so, you know, 12 heaps inch of brakes. Heaps of brakes, yep. yeah. I reckon it's time to see where you sleep inside the palace, mate. Let's open it up. The real important bit, the, mate, the luxuriousness of the inside. All right, mate, show us your palace. Watch how easy this is. Oh, that? <laughs> <laughs> That's very clever. And now we go in here, mate. Nice little sealed door. So you have to take your shoes off. There's there. one thing before we go inside. Okay, okay, okay. Everywhere we go, flies, mosquitoes, sand flies. So I can't With tell your you. friends. This is all <laughs> fly screened and sealed up really well from the outside. Yes, I noticed that. I noticed there wasn't much complaining. And not just or that, any complaint. when you go inside, there's a second fly screen to your bed. So if anything does happen to get in when you go in here, it doesn't, it doesn't get, go in there. It doesn't get where you washed your in bed. Like double protection, so to speak. And this is the flash bar. This oh. is the palace. Mate, can you make me coffee? What is that? <laughs> oh, you got breakfast you as got well. Breaky ready to go. So this is where you eat breaky, is it? Mate, this is the spot. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, you even got backrests. Because, look, let's face it, I don't come into your domain. Nope. This is your spot. So, queen size bed. Queen bed, awesome. Thick mattress. That mattress, I can tell you, is actually more comfy than my bed at home. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't want to divulge that. But, yeah, look, look at the room, table. If there's flies outside when you're eating your dinner, you know. You know, you know that's not even the upgrade mattress. No, really. The upgrade mattress isn't in the spring. Even better. Yeah, that's just the standard. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, well, cool. It is. It, it's it's camped in luxury, let's face it. And it's got the tropical roof, you'll notice, that little that little Yeah, the dub, bit. double yeah. roof. Yeah, yep. that's it. They call that the double roof or the tropical roof, yep. which also adds for when you get torrential rain. Yeah. And the other thing as well that we don't do is we don't put all the room and stuff on. No. There's a massive Absolutely. room that zips on the front, massive awning. It is two metres, comes out two metres, and then it's got walls and, and, and floor. and yep. So you, if you want to camp for three weeks, Boom, it's like you a set it up. Yep, yeah, it's it's like a house. yeah, exactly. Yep. Whereas we, we're on the road, we move pretty quick. Yeah. So we don't do that. We whoosh, yep. whoosh, like that. This will have access to all your electrical yep, that's all storage just, under here. Yeah, there's all batteries are in there and there's oh, all yeah. storage under all these. It's pretty there simple, really. That's easy access. Look how clean it is in here after we've just absolutely used the hell out of it. <laughs> you. Yeah, me. <laughs> this is the first time I've come inside your palace, mate. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. All right, mate. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for the tour. And you said you wanted a cappuccino? Coffee. All right. Well, I'll leave you with your breakfast. Thanks, bud. And I'm going to get you a cappuccino. You're a good man. Just shut that fly screen on your way out, eh? Anything else you want, sir? No, I'm good, bud. <laughs>